The excessive heat is a deciding factor in how high school football teams hold practice. This morning, when temperatures were their least hot, players for Hillcrest High School in North Dallas started practice outside. Then this evening, at the peak of today's heat, practice at Adamson High School in Oak Cliff started indoors. Fox 4's Rebecca Butcher spoke with Dallas ISD officials about how they determine the practice plan. And she's live from Dallas tonight. Rebecca. Yeah, Heather, well, as football players gear up for practices, they're trying to stay uh, very safe in the heat as much as they can. This is the high temperatures come close to breaking records. Well, Friday night lights are almost here. We don't allow our athletes or anybody to be out of practice from 12 to 6, so we call it the no-fly zone. Hey, hurry up! But first comes a reality for all North Texas teams gearing up for the football season, practicing in the summer Texas heat. During the guidelines, there are various temperatures where we um, limit practice and limit um, uniform. So the first five days, they have just helmets on. Okay, so then they work towards shoulder pads, helmets, and then full gear. Tuesday, players for W.H. Adamson High School in Oak Cliff had to start their practice indoors. We follow the wet bulb globe temperature. So if it's 92.1 or above, we do not have practice. The wet bulb globe temperature measures the impact of heat, humidity, and other factors on the human body. It's not the same as the outdoor temperature. It also takes into account whether there is a breeze or whether the sun is setting or rising. About an hour into practice, the Adamson Leopards were able to go outside. A lot of our parents, they trust us with, with, with their student athletes. So, I mean, we're excited to get the, the boys in practice, but also, you know, we follow protocols and all the safety that is required of us. Football practices across the district started this week. Some schools like Adamson chose to hold practice in the evening, but others like Hillcrest High School in North Texas chose to hold theirs early in the morning. But mornings can be tough. Try and drink a gallon of water. I would say that's like the main thing, you know, gallon, two gallons, I mean, just try and stay hydrated. Water breaks were necessary Tuesday evening during Adamson's practice. Head coach Claudio Urbina says his trainers are also looking out for signs of experiencing heat related illnesses. We look at, of course, you know, our, our kids are kind of, you know, lagging behind, maybe lack of focus. Um, we take a lot of water breaks. Our trainers, they advise us to get water like every 30 minutes or so. As well, if we do feel any like nausea or any heat, they have these rags that we can put them around our neck. Running back Anthony Salas is looking to get a scholarship. This heat is no joke. I mean, like, it, it could be very dangerous, but our training staff, our coaches, they know how to take care of us, and they do that with, with hydrating, feeding us. He says the heat won't be stopping him as he prepares for the upcoming season. It's our motivation as a team to stick together, get through. And Dallas ISD's uh, varsity football season gets underway later this month. Meanwhile, Adamson's very first varsity football game is August 26th.